Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and Game Tax Skills. Today, let's explore one more new thing in SAP S4 HANA sourcing and procurement. So we are just going to be understand a few basic settings into the GI and SAP theory applications. So let's start for the today's new topic here. So when we are working under the GUI, so SAP has given the uh, setup for your drop down list whenever we are creating the material master, we are creating the business partner to master it as we are creating into the SAP. So that time we need to be select the drop down list for that into the GUI we have the setup under the more where SAP has given the some settings to select or to see the drop down list for your few standard material types BP rolls and all everything so let's see uh, into the GUI first so into the GUI SAP GUI settings and actions then we can go with your options so there under the interaction design SAP has given the option to activate the drop down list here you can see under the interaction design once we can click click on the visualization but there is a one tab called as control as we can select and the control already these two check boxes are here to show the keys within the drop down list as So because of these two check boxes under the control, uh, whenever we are trying to create a material master, here you can see, we are able to select the industry sector and we are able to see here the short keys with the drop down list. For example, here we can see the M for your mechanical engineering. So why this is happening? Because of these check boxes are marked there. This is into the GI. Same thing for your material type. If you can go with the ROH, that is your standard raw material. Correct. ROH, it is showing with the key as a ROH for the raw material along with the description. So short keys with your drop down list. But if these check boxes already done into the GI, into the setting, if we can open this same transaction into the Fury, let's go to the Fury. This is your Fury screen. If we want to create a material master, other we can create a business partner. Anything you can select here. So here, if we'll open the Fury app for the material master, it's also called as a product master as well. There, okay. So this is the Fury tile for the product master or material master. Here. It's already acted into the GUI, but it's not applicable there. So we are understanding whenever we are using the Fury applications here. So in that case, how it should be activated that drop down list with the keys. So here, if you can see for the Fury apps for the product master, it should be not showing like this, correct? Like uh, agriculture industry is showing it's a mechanical. Okay, we have taken the example for the mechanical. So it's not showing the M for the mechanical with the drop down list. Again, if we can go with the material types, so how we can understand which raw material, which is the standard one and which is the customized one. So for that differentiation, we need to be activate that drop down list. Same thing if we can go with the business partner. If we are creating the BP by using the Furia, again, we need to be select. The standard BP rolls, correct. If we can try to create it here, once click on the organization here, we are not able to understand from this business partner general, which is the standard SAP business partner to create a BP business role. So, how we can understand there are the many are there, correct? So, how we can just manage this part? So, let's uh, explore much on that part. Maybe we'll just close this first. 
So we'll try to create one uh, product master using the Fiori app. So here, once we can select the Fiori app to create a product master, there is a option called as a menu. Click on the menu. After click on the menu, select for the settings. As you click on the setting option, again, the same path will be open up here, like a GUI. But we need to be activate this setting into the Fiori. Interaction design, go to the visualization one. After that, here, we get the option called as a drop down list. Show the drop down list with keys. So we can just activate this again sort the drop down list by their keys we can just act just click on these two checkbox click on the save then try to create the master data like a material or product master or your business partner so right now here you can see the difference we are able to see right now the industry sector with the short keys with the drop down list like a mechanical engine Again, if you want to select the material type as a ROH, right now it's for easy for us, correct? Easily we can understand this is the ROH, which is for the standard material type, correct? Two ROH is there. Before that, we are not able to differentiate which one is the standard. Same thing if we can go for the BP or a business partner. So that also we can understand here. If we'll try to create a mental business partner and we can select the standard BP rules. Before that, we are not able to differentiate. As we have done that setting, right now, we are able to see the standard BP rules along with the short keys and their drop down list here. So here we can understand easily, correct? Triple zero, triple zero three. Uh, this is your standard business partner for your general data. So like this, we can activate a BP rolls with a short keys with the drop down list that's it so to learn the new more things please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel please visit our website if you want to learn more about into the sap s4 hana and if you want to explore much onto the fury so we are here as a e-learning platform. So link mentioned in the description. Please register on the link be given below. Thank you.